Okay, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about the Patty Recreational Dive Planner. Uh, this planner helps you figure out your dives. At the top here, you see your depths. Your depth runs all the way from 35 to 140 feet. Uh, also, it kind of you can look in like under 60 feet. If you're uh, staying, let's say, 62 feet, you would use 70. You would move up to the next one up. So you would round up when you're using your depth on the dive table. Also, you have your lettering on the side. It runs A all the way to Z. It kind of gives you an idea of how much nitrogen you have in your body. This is the ones I usually use. The ones that's over to the left corner, I won't use as much as these. Notice it goes all the way down to Z, which means you have a lot of nitrogen. So it's almost like a quick glance to see how much nitrogen you have in your body. Now, once you pick your depth, you kind of look down and you can see your time and your time runs down and what you do, remember, you want to round up on your time. Remember, if you pick 32 feet and you want to round up to 35, always go to the next highest time. Never round down. Then we'll move into our surface interval. Once we move into our surface interval from our, from our letter, go over and find your time you're out of the water. This can be drinking a Coke, eating a sandwich, or just relaxing, but it's time in between the two dives. At the bottom, again, you will see your letters that run across the bottom, and that's how you clean up. In other words, if you were a D diver, as you come out on the slant, as you come across, you would be a D diver and then you would come out as a cleaner letter. Also, you notice you have the numbers in the black with the gray above it. What that does, the number in the black tells you the maximum time you can stay there. And three bars above it or boxes above it, that's going to tell you how much nitrogen you have. If you notice 100 feet or anything greater to 140 has everything gray in it. That means you must do a safety stop. Anytime you're in the black or the gray, you have to do a safety stop on this table. Now, granted, it's good to do a safety stop every time you go diving, but you definitely want to do one if you're in the black and the gray. Remember, this is recreational dive planner, so we want to stay out of the no decompression. Stay in the no decompression. We do not want to go into decompression diving on this table. Remember, this is where all your diving is done, is in this area here. As you move over, all your surface interval is here. This is the time out of the water. That's your surface interval in this area. Once you do your surface interval, then you'll move and reverse to the back side of the table. And that's where we're going to calculate for our next dive. Now, when you calculate for your next dive, you're going to be planning it as far as your depth and your time. Again, see the letters at the top? All you do, the one from reverse side, if you came out an S, you just flip over. You'll be an S on this side. And you have your depth. You find your depth for your next dive. Once you find the depth you want to do, then we're going to intercept it. Once you intersect it, find your depth. You're going to slide over and find the letter you came out. Once they intersect, then you're going to come into a box, and it's going to have two different colors in it. You're going to have a white and a blue in that box. Okay, now let's talk a few minutes about the numbers that are in the blue and the white. The blue is how much time you can stay under the water on that next dive, which is your second, third, fourth, whatever repetitive dive you're doing. The number in the white is your residual nitrogen. That's nitrogen left over from the first dive. You have to add the number in the white to whatever you pick out of the number in the blue. So if we stay the whole 26 minutes, we will add 29 to it. If we only stay 20 minutes out of the 26, because we picked that out of the blue, then we would add the 29 to the 20. Remember, Second dive is done on this side. This is your second or repetitive dive that you're doing on this side here. Once you complete it and figure out what you do, you just move back to the first of the chart and you go back to where all your diving's done is there. Just remember, the back of the chart is only for planning. All you're doing on this, this side is planning. Also, if you get confused about what the blue and the white means, just look down at the bottom. It explains it right here to the right-hand side. Also, you want to look at some of the other part of the back of the chart where it tells you about fly time, uh, diving in cold water, all that's very important to read and be knowledgeable about the chart. The biggest thing you want to know about the chart is you got to trust the chart and work it, okay? Try not to do any dives without the chart. The only way to do dives without this dive chart is to make sure you have a dive computer. And remember, dive computers are also set up as a chart. That's where the the graphics and that's where all the uh, analog comes from is off the computer is because of a chart. So it is set up just like the chart. So for some reason, if your computer quit on you and you had to go divert back to this chart, then you could actually wait 12 hours, 
16 hours, 24 hours, whatever the choice of yours is and the computer you're using, and start using the chart for the rest of the time. If you have any more questions about the RDP or computers or anything to do with this dive table, just give us a call, 864-585-5694, or drop us a line on email at Corey at scubashopsc.com. We'll be glad to explain more to you. Thanks and hope you enjoyed it.